one great way to find a research topic in the current state of knowledge is to assess previous literature that are very current that is um, available in the last five years and so um, how do you get to get uh, this topic we have been advised to use Google Scholar so I go to Google Scholar and my research topic or what I have in mind uh, borders on optical properties and and um, and ellipsoidal um, quantum dots okay notice how I used uh, inverted commas and um, this boolean in making my search so I'm going to click on enter and I'm gonna have that quick search that quick search on optical properties that is any research that relates optical properties and quantum uh, dot okay so I have that and um, because I have the site space Chrome extension on my Chrome web browser it quickly gives me an overview of about uh, eight papers that have been displayed by my Google Scholar search but there's a problem I am um, to assess this paper and look at their limitations and maybe suggestions for future directions and these suggestions are what I would use to synthesize or refine my research topic but as I look at this paper okay this paper is available on PDF this other paper is not open access this other paper also which is related to what I'm looking at and it's in the current set of knowledge it's not also open access this paper also is very related to what I'm looking at and it's in the current set of knowledge in fact this year but it is not also available it is not open to review it is not open it's not open access if I'm gonna get that paper I would have to pay and uh, this other paper too very current and uh, it's within what I'm looking out for but again it is not open access how you know a paper is not open access is you can't find PDF by it this paper for example is open access you can find a PDF copy of it if I click on this I'll get a PDF of it a PDF download this paper also it's available and each PDF is available if I click on this also I can get the PDF but how do I assess these other papers that are very related to what I want to do uh, very related to um, what I am looking out for but they are not available they are not open access thank God for uh, chat GPT you you can now have that so these papers that are not available permit me to copy the topics I'll copy the topics of this paper and I will take them to chat GPT and when I get there there's a new addition to chat GPT and that is the web search unlike uh, just your prompt and uh, chat GPT would, you would use is previous knowledge that was cut off in 2021 with the web search on chat GPT you can now do a later search so I would put paper one I just put the topic of paper one somewhere there I would go back to copy the uh, topic of paper two I mean these papers that are related to what I want to do uh, these papers that are not open access they are not available but are very related to what I want to do I'm gonna copy the second paper and I would put there and permit me to copy the third paper also I would go back there not available but quite related to what I am looking at I would copy this paper also I'll copy the topic and I'll take it to chat GPT web search and I have um, looking for paper I should do I should go and copy a fourth one and I am looking at this fourth paper third opt other non-linear okay uh, does it look like what I want to do okay let's copy that too it's related and I'm gonna copy the fourth paper if you like you could copy 
the um, author's name if you don't like just copy all of that I also have four papers here and I would now give a prompt I would say um, synthesize or write assess these papers and present the limitations of the papers and and all future directions suggested and chat gpt will do that for me those papers that are not um open access that i cannot easily access without paying chat gpt can assess them so it's going to assess those papers and it's going to list their the limitations presented and the future directions suggested even though i could not assess it and don't worry this has been tried uh, i have done this for a paper that is open access and chat gpt was able to accurately uh, present the the limitations and the future directions of these papers even though they were not um open access or even though they were not available also chargpt have done that for me you want to check the sources you want to be sure that these limitations and suggestions were from the exact paper you pasted here so you just click the sources and you would find these are the papers it assess and truly it is actually the papers you presented these are the papers as presented and it assess the exact papers you put up here so you're good to go it has given you the possible limitation the suggested limitation rather and the future directions and it has assessed the exact papers um, whose titles you you gave it and so let's make a uh, progress now it has presented you suggestions and um, limitations for future direction as reported on these papers you want to go a step further and say okay um from these limitations and suggestions for future directions future directions refined you could ask 20 20 research topics for journal publication that are theoretical and practicable practicable in a short while and you could hit on enter and chat gpt using its very uh, powerful ability would give you those suggestions and so following my prompt chat gpt has done its work and here i have 20 research topics that are drawn from the limitation of uh, the studies i have looked at and these topics are well refined these topics are in the present state of knowledge these topics meet um the limitations and the future directions of similar papers that are very current and so here i have 20 topics i could just pick them one after the other i could refine them better um i could do further studies to get research questions and situate them properly within the current state of knowledge and so this saves you a whole lot of time of um trying to look at papers that are not even accessible uh trying to get very current research topic trying to get very um refined research topics just copy uh the titles of very current papers Put them to chat gpt turn on its web assessment or its web as access abilities and there you go it would help you get the 
possible possible limitations that are suggested on the paper and it would help you get further directions and from the limitation of further directions you can find researchable topics and so basically here i am using the combination of google scholar and the web ability of chat gpt to find research topic by combining the limitation and suggested direction from four or more papers go try it out